Hi there, here's the Mi TV stick, the Mi Fire TV stick and the Mi Box 4K. Are you confused which one of these you should buy? Well, then you've come to the right place. I've also made in-depth review videos for the Mi TV stick and the Mi Box 4K. If you like to see that, you can click the card up here. I'll also leave the links for both of these videos in the description. Coming back, let's compare all these so that you can decide which one suits your need and budget. But before we begin, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss an update. Also follow me on my social media handles for more tech info. This is your friend Texing. Let's get started. Firstly, the primary function of all these devices is to make your non-smart TV smart. You can actually even use it for your smart TVs. Now, many of us have smart TVs that are a couple of years old. They either have laggy OS, they don't have the latest OS, they don't have all the apps that you want, and sometimes they don't have Bluetooth, and sometimes it's just too boring. So with these devices, you can make your old TV smart as well as smarter TVs smarter. So coming to the design. Well, the Mi TV Stick and the Amazon Fire Stick are dongle designs. They have HDMI ports on either sides. They plug in directly into any TV or monitor. So if you have a monitor that has an HDMI port, you can simply use this and make your monitor into a smart streaming TV. Okay, uh, they have a micro USB port on either sides to actually provide them power. There is a micro USB to USB cable provided in the box. The micro USB side goes into these dongles and the USB A port plugs into your TV USB port. Now, just in case your old TV or your monitor doesn't have a USB, you can plug it into a power adapter and give it power. Power adapter is also provided in the box, so you don't have to worry. Coming to the Mi Box 4K. Well, the first thing that you can see, it's like a mini setup box. It will be placed in front of the TV in, on a table. That's where ideally it will be placed. It comes with an HDMI to HDMI cable and you plug in one HDMI cable on this side and the other end to the TV or to the monitor. And of course, to provide this power, there's an adapter that you have to power plug it. Of course, adapter is provided in the box. Uh, the best part about the Mi Stick and the Fire Stick is it actually is hidden behind the TV and is kind of invisible when it's plugged in. Well, in case the Mi, TV, Mi Box is actually right in front of the TV screen, it's right in front. However, you can actually even keep this behind the TV, but it'll still work. You can just roll it up, keep it behind and the remote will still function because the remote works with Bluetooth. So keeping it in front won't really matter. But the Mi Box 4K has a USB port and a 3.5mm audio headphone jack, which both of these lack. Yes, the Mi TV stick and the Amazon Fire Stick don't have a USB or a 35 headphone jack. With a 3.5mm headphone jack, you can actually connect it to external speakers. It becomes far more convenient with the Mi Box 4K. Uh, also, it comes with a USB port, which means you can plug in an external pen drive or an external hard disk and play videos, movies, pictures, anything from your pen drive. Basically like a media player, which is like amazing. Also because of the USB port, you can sideload apps, which is much more easier. You can sideload apps also on these sticks, but the process is far more complicated. I'm going to make a video with the Mi TV stick out to sideload apps. It's coming soon. So basically no USB port and no 3.5 headphone jack on both of these sticks. But again, this is lying in the front. This is tucked in behind. Now coming to the output resolution of these devices, the Mi Box 4K, as the name says, supports up to 4K resolution, which is great. Then the Mi TV stick supports only up to full HD 1080p. The Fire TV stick, both are available, the 4K and full HD. Full HD is 1080p and the 4K obviously is the 4K resolution. But along with 4K, it also supports Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. But let's not forget, your TV should be 4K, your TV should support Dolby Vision and what you're streaming should be also 4K. Only then these 4K devices will make sense or a full HD device should suffice. All right, coming to the OS, probably one of the biggest difference between these all. So at their base and core, they are all Android actually. But the Mi Box 4K and the Mi Stick are running the Android TV 9 OS, while the Fire TV Stick is actually Android, but it's running the Fire TV OS. It's like a custom Android skin. Now the Mi Box and the Mi Stick are the same, the same Android TV OS that we see actually on any Android TV. It's absolutely identical. Coming to the user experience and performance, we we'll start with the Fire TV OS. Oh my God, it's been a breeze from day one. It's smooth, it's lag free, it's amazing. It has been so well optimized, even with 1 GB RAM and 1.5 GB RAM on the 4K, they work great. So that way I would say no doubt that the smoothness and the performance of the Fire TV Stick is second to none. 
coming to both of these, both are running Android TV and they're pretty good. The Mi Box was actually quite smooth. It comes with 2GB RAM and it's really smooth. It performs really well. But still, it's Android TV OS. There is a little bit of stutter and lag, but of course, overall a smooth experience. The Mi TV Stick was a completely mixed bag. It was sometimes very good and sometimes very laggy. But just yesterday, I got an update on the Mi TV Stick, which probably they addressed was the RAM management issue. And now it's got so much more better. It's still not going to be as good as the Mi Box 4K because obviously the processor is faster, the RAM is more, but still with better optimization and RAM management and optimization, the Mi TV Stick actually started performing a lot better than my initial impressions and in my review that I just posted last week. It's much better. When it comes to performance, smoothness and OS optimization, the Fire TV OS takes the cake. It's just beautiful. It's smooth, it's reliable, it's lag-free. Coming to app support, well, the Mi Box 4K and the Mi Stick come with Google Play Store. Yes, the official Android Google Play Store, while the Fire TV OS has a kind of a home-built app store. Both have a huge collection, absolutely no problem on that. Both have great collection. And all popular apps like Netflix, Prime Videos, Disney Hotstar, YouTube, you name the most popular apps, Z5, Geo Cinema, you name them and they're there on both but the Play Store has a larger collection. But let's not get it wrong, the Fire TV OS has all the popular apps that I think you should need, so you don't shouldn't need to worry. The Fire TV Stick has the Prime Video app which works best. Android TV OS has a very laggy Prime Videos app and we know why. Let's not forget, Prime Videos actually is Amazon's. So obviously the Prime Videos app is the best experience you're ever gonna get. So if you're a Prime Videos fan, man, you should actually just go for the Fire TV Stick. But apart from that, Netflix, YouTube, all these popular apps work equally well on both these devices. You don't have to worry about that. When it comes to the gaming, many people have asked me, what about gaming? If you ask me frankly, you can play games. SNE, you can't. You can play basic gaming. Some of those games will need a gamepad, which you'll need to pair via Bluetooth. Some of those games can be played even with the remote. I would not say these are great for gaming. You can play games. They are not the best experience, but they are not that bad either. If you're going to play heavy games like Asphalt 8, then it's kind of not going to be that great. But if you're going to play games like Beach Buggy and all, they're going to be pretty okay. They're easy to play. They're okay to play. Casual gaming, okay. Heavy gaming, no. So many people have asked me about Chromecast and mirroring. Well, we'll start with the Fire TV Stick. This supports direct mirroring. And what is direct mirroring? Direct mirroring is when you don't need a dedicated Wi-Fi connection and the TV's Wi-Fi and your phone's Wi-Fi connect together and you can mirror. And the benefit of that is it, that the mirroring is almost lag free. There is lag, but almost negligible. So if you're playing a video or a photo that's on your phone, you're actually mirroring it to your TV and it's almost playing seamlessly without any lag. But there are a couple of drawbacks of mirroring. You cannot use your phone for anything else while it's mirroring. So whatever is on your screen, phone screen is also going to be on the TV. That's one problem. The other thing is that it only works with Android phones. None with any iOS phone. You cannot mirror an iOS phone at all using the Fire TV Stick. Now coming to Chromecast. Now the biggest benefit of Chromecast is that you can actually cast your video from using your Chromecast app on your phone. Like a YouTube app supports Chromecast, Netflix, Prime Videos, Hotstar, all these apps support Chromecast. So suppose you click on a video or movie and you click Chromecast, it actually starts playing that video or movie directly on the TV screen. Now the benefit of Chromecast is that your phone is completely usable and you can control the video, pause, play, everything you can do from your phone. Meanwhile, your phone is completely usable for other things. And the other thing is that Chromecast can be used even with iOS devices. All those same apps that Android supports for Chromecast will also, iOS will also support for same apps. So you are technically not bound only with Android and iOS. So that's the benefit of Chromecast. Even with Chromecast, you can mirror some of the Android devices to the TV, but you'll need a dedicated Wi-Fi connection and that becomes extremely laggy. It's not the best experience, but you can mirror it just in case you want to. Again, that's only for Android TVs and not for iOS. So eventually it comes down to personal preference. Do you want direct mirroring on the Fire Stick, which is only for Android TV? Or you want Chromecast on the Mi Box 4K or the Mi Stick, which will work on Android and iOS. But again, mirroring is not gonna be a good experience with this. So it's eventually about your preference, mirroring or Chromecast. So let's talk about streaming quality. Frankly, it's equally good on both, both as in Fire Stick and the Mi Box or the Mi Stick. The user experience on the Mi TV Stick and the Mi Box is exactly the same. However, the Mi Box seemed a little more snappier and that's probably because of the 2GB RAM compared to the 1GB on the Mi TV Stick. 
So the only place you'll actually see a difference between the quality is when you're streaming Dolby Vision on a 4K Fire Stick. That also your TV should support Dolby Vision and the content you're streaming should support Dolby Vision. Apart from that, there's a very narrow window to differentiate anything between all of these. Overall, apart from that, all these devices stream really well, the quality is pretty good and they're equally fast and snappy. Coming to the remotes, well, if you look at them, they look so identical that you don't know which one is a copy of which. They're small, easy to use with minimalistic design. The Mi Box and Mi Stick remote come with shortcut keys for Netflix and Prime videos. The Fire Stick remote doesn't have those, but it has forward, rewind, pause, play and the mute button, which the Mi Box and the Mi TV Stick remotes lack. And trust me, these keys come very handy while you're watching a movie. Mi Box remote has the Google Voice Assistant and the Fire TV has Alexa voice control. Both work equally well, but I'll give the edge to the Google Voice Assistant for better response. All these streaming devices come with Bluetooth support, so you can connect your favorite wireless headphones or even your home theater system that support Bluetooth. Also, all these come with dual band Wi-Fi, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. This is really good. In a time where streaming is everything, having dual band Wi-Fi is a must-have and all these actually have it. That's great. And finally, the price. The Mi Box 4K is priced at 3499 the Mi Stick for 2799 the Full HD Fire Stick for 3999 and the 4K Fire Stick for 5999 So finally, which one should you buy? I know many of you are still confused, so let's cut it down. If you have a Full HD TV, then the Mi TV Stick or the HD Fire Stick should be your pick. And between these two, the Mi TV Stick is a lot cheaper, a larger app collection, Chromecast and Android TV OS. You can't go wrong. However, the user experience isn't the smoothest, but of course it's improving with the update. If you have a 4K TV, then it's between the 4K Fire Stick and the Mi Box 4K. Well, if you see the Mi Box 4K, it has a cheaper price tag, USB port to connect a pen drive, 3.5 audio out, Android TV OS. The Mi Box works great for you. But if you don't want clumsy wires, you want Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision support, and don't mind losing out on a USB port, then the 4K Fire Stick should be just perfect for you. I'll leave the links for all the four devices in the description. If you like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions regarding any of these devices, drop them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.